Some of us will never know. So the thing I was it's not- Jose Cuervo for me! <laughs> So the thing I was not warned about last night is that you need to be, you need to like consider your driving technique with your fingers. Yep. Mm, because yep. otherwise, you get off the bus and you discover your right thumb doesn't work anymore. Oh. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. And you cannot type on your phone. You're right. <laughs> Uh, a lot of us have started to do holding the controller backwards and then rotating yeah. with the fingers. Oh. Armory core grip, baby! Yep. I do it more yep. like a Tetris roll, where uh, oh, it's yes. just... I, okay, I was told that, that, like, iron core grip, but I never played iron core. I, why uh, is it armored called core. armored core? Yeah. Why is it called... Yeah. Why <laughs> is it armored... Like, obviously, so, the game armored core. Who, who played a lot of armored core? Um, armored core was an old PS1 game. Yeah. It was a mech fighting game, and the controls were incomprehensible. Um, it's a lot more before, direct manual control of your mech. Yeah, and in the later games, when you had the dual analog sticks, it was kind of conventional shooter controls after Nexus, but before that, yeah, you had different buttons to move your aiming versus moving your legs of your mech, and you had like six different types of weapons that you were trying to use. Okay, so you so would rotate the, the controller so that you could so use you your pinky all to your like fingers. activate. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah, so your thumbs would be the shoulder buttons, your, and then uh, your fingers would be the face buttons. Right, For so this, you're, you're turning the controller into a, uh, into a, a keyboard. Because yeah, exactly. you only need to touch two buttons. You hold down the A with your thumb, and then just tap the D-pad with the rest of your hand if you want. Just one-hand it. Yeah, there's an example of the armored core grip. What was the Good name times. of that David Cage game? On PS3, like press X to David or whatever, the hard oh, like, heavy, heavy rain, heavy rain, heavy yeah. rain. No. Though no. when you have to like squeeze through that tor torture part, where you have to like hold oh, the controller, yeah. like I, that's oh, yeah, the grip no, I want to learn. They, they had some really, he had some really good ones in that. But my personal favorite is actually in Beyond Two Souls, of the course. motorcycle chase, where you can just put the controller down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's what he wanted in the first place. Don't play it. Watch it. Like it, you will, the, the character will drag along the guardrail of the highway for the like seven minutes it takes for it to scroll to the next, uh, uh, the next uh, uh, loading zone. But, no, but, but it will get there. It will get there. The, the motorcycle will get there eventually. No input huh. required. It is inevitable. That actually that reminds brilliant. me there's a, a NASCAR game where you can do that with the car and you kind of wedge it up against the edge of the... Uh, the ring, and then you can just go. That's real life. Yeah, that and then happened. someone that did that in real <laughs> life, and now it's a rule that you can't do that yeah. anymore in real that, life. Dan, that feels like a cert fail where a bunch of testers would die in that sequence, and they got so fed up, they're like, just turn off. Like, you're basically doing an E3 like demo at that yeah. point. Like, yeah. You know who failed? David Cage. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I might work for Mr. Cage I, I mean, someday. I, I honestly think they just never had a mechanic because, I mean, so much in that game is just unfinished. Yeah, that that is fair. It just feels like a last second, like, whatever, just get it yeah, in a box. Yeah, just make it, yeah. Make it run. 